Welcome. In this video, I am going to discuss how we can solve the production planning problem using Excel Solver. So first of all, we will see how we can develop a linear programming model. Okay, so from this particular problem, which is basically about the production planning problem. So in this problem, it is saying that a company that is producing a single product. So they have given us the estimated demand for the next four months. Okay, that was given. Similarly, the, they also told us that the company has the regular time production capacity per month as well as the overtime production capacity per month. Okay, also they have told us about the production cost in a regular time per unit as well as the overtime per unit production cost. Okay, then the company can carry inventory to the next month and the holding cost or we can say inventory carrying cost per month per unit is 3 rupees. So we have to meet the demand every month. So first of all, we are going to formulate this problem into a linear programming problem. And then we will see how we can solve it through the Excel solver. Okay, so in this particular problem, we have total uh, 12 decision variables. Okay, how we have the 12 decision variable because we have the four time periods. So that means we are interested to find out the regular time production quantity in month one, month two, month three, and month four. Okay, so that is the four decision variable. Then as well as we want to know how much quantity we, we will produce in the overtime. Okay, so that is also in month one, month two, month three, and month four. So that is going to be our overtime production quantity. Similarly, we have the inventory uh, co uh, carrying quantity that how much quantity we can uh, carry to the next month. Okay, so here I am mentioning three decision variable which is I1, I2 up to I3. So that means I want at the end of the four month there should be no inventory but we can also write down four over here if you want that it should carry some inventory. So while I am going to solve in a in, uh, mathematical excel solver so i'm going to consider this variable but formulating this one uh, i am not writing this number because i want that at the end of the four month there should be no inventory okay so our objective function we want to minimize the total production cost okay this is basically the total regular time production cost okay this is overtime production cost this is the inventory cost right and we have the set of constraints one is demand constraint or we can say the inventory balancing constraint. So in this constraint we are saying that because right now they are they didn't mention any initial inventory. So usually the inventory balancing or you can say demand constraint in the production planning problem is that is basically I T minus one that is the inventory in the last time period plus production quantity in the regular time. Okay, then overtime production quantity okay that is going to be equal to dt that is basically the demand of that time period plus at the end of that time how much inventory we have that we can carry to the next month so right now i haven't mentioned i not because we are saying that the initial inventory um, they they didn't give us the problem so that means the initial inventory is zero so we are saying in a month for regular time production quantity plus overtime production quantity is equal to the demand of the first month which is basically 1000 plus I1. Okay similarly for the second month when we are going to write down this one. So this is going to be T is equal to 2 that is 2 minus 1 that means uh, at the end of month 1 or how much inventory we have then plus in a month two regular time production quantity month two overtime production quantity should be equal to the demand of the second month plus inventory of the second month similarly this is for the third month this is for the fourth month so i can also write i4 this means that at the end of fourth month how much inventory we should have okay so uh, now we have the two types of the capacity constraint one is regular time production capacity another is overtime production capacity Okay, they are saying that um, every month our regular time production quest capacity is 800. So that means R1 is less than or equal to 800, R2 is less than or equal to 800, 3 as well as R4 is less than or equal to 800. Regarding overtime production capacity, so our O1 should be less than or equal to 200, O2, O3, O4. Okay, 
so these are the set of constraints now we want to solve this uh, linear programming or we can say production planning problem through excel so how we can do that so basically uh, we are first of all writing down the input data so in input data we are basically mentioning uh, that we want to uh, develop a production plan for the four months because they have given us the four months information okay so time period one to four and in a month one how much demand we have that is 1000 800 1200 900 so also they have given us the per unit regular time production cost that was basically 20 rupees okay similarly in a overtime we have 25 so this is regular time production cost per unit per month this is basically per unit okay so this is basically overtime production cost per unit similarly they also gave us carrying cost or you can say inventory cost per unit okay that is basically three so now they are also gave us the information about the regular time production capacity which is 800 and overtime production capacity which is 200 and i am assuming that there is no initial inventory so as they didn't give us any information about the initial inventory so that's why i'm considering is equal to zero so this was the data that was given in the problem okay now what we want to do is uh, i'm right i'm first of all going to calculate the costs that is basically regular time production cost overtime production cost inventory cost and total cost so how we can do that so first of all we need to create these two uh, sets okay one is regarding the decision variables another is regarding the constraints so first of all we are mentioning the decision variable so this is basically inventories for decision variable which is i1 i2 i3 i4 this is r1 that is a regular time production quantity regular time production quantity in month two month three month four similar for overtime production quantity so we are make them blank okay so right now it is zero so which we want to find out that excel solver help us to find out the values of this inventories as well as regular time production quantities in every month as well as the overtime now what we are going to do is we are going to apply these constraints over here so first of all i am calculating the first constraint which is a demand constraint or we can say the inventory balancing constraint and what is this one that is saying that equal b8 which means the initial inventory that is basically zero plus okay we have the regular time production quantity plus overtime production quantity minus demand of this first month okay so that is going to be equal to the inventory of the first month similarly we are writing down for the second month that is the inventory in the month one which is basically b21 plus regular time production quantity in month two plus overtime production quantity in month three okay month two minus demand of month two which is basically c2 so once we write down this second formula now we can uh, drag it for up to uh, month four okay similarly because over here if you see that minus c21 that means inventory over here plus production regular time production quantity in month three overtime production quantity in month three minus demand of month three similarly we have over here so the regular time production capacity is that is going to be equal to this one so that's why we have written down equal b6 okay uh, similarly equal c6 which is basically equal to these cells and for the overtime production capacities we are writing that is equal to the overtime production capacity which means this is going to be equal to these numbers okay so this is equal to b7 this is equal to c7 and so on okay once we have uh, done this constraints now we can apply uh, the uh, formulas in order to calculate the regular time production capacity how we can do that we can apply the sum product formula so equal sum product that is going to be we are finding the in, uh, regular time production quantity so that is going to be equal to per unit regular time production quantity per month okay that is going to be this d cell comma oh, and we are going to select this one because this is basically indicating the regular time production quantity similarly for calculating the overtime production quantity we are applying equal sum product that is going to be equal to 
per unit overtime production uh, cost okay multiply by and sum we are doing it with the overtime production quantity similarly for the carrying cost point of view equal sum product that is going to be these cells uh, comma and then going to be these cells okay and then we can apply the sum formula in order to sum all these costs which is basically the total cost we want to minimize this total cost so we can do that we are going to click solver okay so i want to minimize this cost because this is my objective function minimize by changing cell mean we want to find out the values of these cells that is our decision variable okay so first constraint is going to be equal to the inventory balancing constraint that is mean on a left hand side we are saying this should be equal to okay this should be equal to uh, this one okay that is this one okay and then we are mentioning our second constraint okay which is basically regular time production capacity okay so what is this one that is going to be our this regular time production capacity in which we are saying that this should be equal less than or equal to okay this these numbers okay and then similarly we can add the overtime production capacity okay so we can add the overtime production capacity or we can do that simply by, by clicking over here so these quantities must be less than or equal to this one okay that is going to be this one right so press okay so now we have added the inventory balancing or you can say demand constraint regular time production capacity constraint overtime production capacity constraint so make sure you have to click over here because we are going to say that all the decision variables the answers must be uh, non negative okay the method we are going to apply is simplex because it's a linear programming problem so click solve okay so if you want to see the answer report you can press okay so by the way we got the answer this is basically the total production cost this is overtime production cost total inventory total cost so this is telling us how much inventory we should keep in month 1 how much inventory we should keep in month 2 month 3 month 4 so how much quantity we should produce in a regular time production okay in month 1 month 2 month 3 month 4 similarly how much quantity we should produce in a overtime in month 1 month 2 month 3 and month 4 okay so these are the values of our decision variable this is our total cost so in a answer report we can see that this is total cost this is basically telling us the uh, values of each decision variables also it is telling us about the um, binding and non binding constraint so right now it is saying that our last constraint with respect to the overtime is a non binding constraint and the stack value is 100 okay so the rest of them are the binding so what is the meaning of the binding when the left hand side is equal to the right hand side uh, the non binding it is indicating the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side the stack value is indicating how much quantity it is uh, left over okay so i hope you got the idea how we can solve the production planning problem when we have formulated is as a linear programming model using excel so thank you so much